urban development improves the lives of many. But if not carefully planned, it might happen at a great health and environmental cost. The Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, is growing so fast that the Ripi landfill, which in 1968 was in the outskirts of the city, is now at its center. 36 hectares, a town-sized land of solid waste, polluting ground and air with methane. Uh, the Addis Ababa city's population is increasing every time which is more than four to five million people uh, are living here. And our waste generation rate is about 0.7 kilogram of uh, waste per capita, which is huge. Then we to calculate it to 4.5 million people. You can have a lot of uh, waste, solid waste dumping. In general, we have uh, about 174 million meters cubes of solid waste dumping here every month which translates into about 2.2 million meter cube of waste per year. So this is the amount of waste which has been accumulated for more than 40 years. In 2009, a project was launched to remediate the site with positive impacts on environment and public health. We have a project with the city of administration and the UNDP to transform this West Dam site and to collect the methane which is being generated, which was uh, released into the atmosphere by installing gas collection pipes. As you can see the yellow uh, pipes there, we have installed 19 one nine vertical gas collection pipes. These 19 vertical pipes have been interconnected horizontally also. Then uh, it will be collected and it will come to this point. This is the end point. Uh, then uh, in the coming uh, one month, at this place where we are standing, a flaring system will be installed, burning the methane without causing any dangerous pollutants. We are going to transform this open dump site into a public park. That's one of our big transitions now. Addis is not like other European cities. We don't have any public park. where People go with their kids and enjoy and everything. We don't have such type of facilities. <laughs> but for the city's poor, the landfill is a resource. Around 700 way speakers make a living from it collecting scraps of metal and other recyclable materials they then sell for a few beers, the local currency. You know, their livelihood actually depends on that. These people uh, have uh, made a uh, li living uh, from the West. So the money that comes, for example, from the carbon is going to go there, create a job for them, okay, employment. So the city is also fully aware of that, you know, they are preparing, integrating them, especially in the park development. A lot of jobs are going to be created, they will be absorbed uh, in, in, the, in the new um, landfill. And uh, at the same time, uh, we have a plan, uh, uh, you know, to use the, not only the city budget, also the, the money that's generated from the carbon credits. Primarily it will go for, the, for their, uh, to improve their livelihood. They are the ones that are actually helping us now, you know, in every, in, when we do everything. They want a better life.